Now we're going to create the second set of diagrams relative to shadows. Um, we're going to place a camera on the inside at eye level, looking out so we can see the effect of uh, the window openings, the light shelves and shading devices in terms of the shadows that they're, that they're casting onto the floor, onto the windows and onto the walls. We're going to do this by placing a camera. First I'm just going to turn off the side walls as well as the back wall and I'm going to place a new camera. I'm going to go into the 3D editor view and uh, you also want to make sure that if you go to file user preferences and localization that you are set to US standard uh, and feet and inches. Right, so this is basically setting setting the units of your of your file either for just this uh, session of Ecotect or it's actually gonna apply to all sessions so that whenever you open the program it's set to to um, US standard. Um, it's important when we want to move the camera up um, you know a certain amount of uh, feet so that you all have the same units. All right, we're gonna place a camera. We're gonna go here to the to the left, the camera symbol interactively, and I'm just gonna actually snap to the corner of the floor and I'm you know as you see how it snaps to the um, the X Y and Z I'm gonna just actually position the camera target the view direction along the edge of the floor and there is a camera and if we actually go to the visualize tab we now see there's a new camera that's being created and if we click on it we can actually see it right we're right at the edge at in the wall basically looking from eye level so that's not a good view, but um, it's a starting point. The camera is still selected. Um, one thing, if you actually click somewhere where there's more than one object, you, it may select the wrong object. And you can, by just um, hitting the, the space um, bar on your keyboard, you can just cycle through all the different selection options that are there. So this is the camera, this is the side wall of the floor, this is the actual floor. So I have the camera selected, I'm going to go under view, side view, and I'm going to click this uh, transform symbol, which is the move command. And I'm essentially just going to move it up. You see, there's actually a number, four foot four. I'm going to move it to five foot four. All right, that's, that's eye level, at least of these people. So if I go back to perspective, I see that I'm now at eye level. I'm still in the center of the wall. I'm just going to check real quick under the Visualize tab. Uh, the doesn't update automatically. You actually have to cycle to another view and then back in order to do that. So okay, that already looks better. But I want to have a more. Um, I want to be closer to the facade and I want to have a more um, kind of angled view, not the central perspective. So I'm going to go into the plan view. And first of all, I'm just going to actually, it's still selected. I'm just going to move it into the space like, like that. Check under visualize, cycle back and forth. Okay, now I'm in this more in the center of the space. That's good. I can actually start to close off the side walls to get more of a sense of the space. And I'm going to, the back doesn't really matter, but I'm going to close it as well. Okay, but I'm still looking straight at, so I want to have an angle. I'm going to actually have to um, select the camera and then double click so I get the little grab bars. That means that I can actually move the camera and the and the target independently. So if I if I actually select the, um, the target and I go to move, I can drag it and I'm going to just drag it over here. So this is where I'm, I'm looking at. It doesn't, not important where exactly it ends, it's just the direction. Okay, so let's see how that looks. I go here and I go back into the camera. Okay, so now I'm looking at an angle, which is a kind of a little bit more dynamic view in this case. I prefer that. Um, I'm still a little bit far in the back. Um, so what I'm gonna do, I'm actually, this is actually a, a wide angle camera and I'm gonna change that to a normal camera. Oops, so. I have to deselect by clicking somewhere. 
select this camera and go under materials you see it's ca called camera wide angle if I switch that to a camera normal you see how the cone of vision changes wide angle normal so I'm going to um, just do that if I actually want to be more specific I can go into right click material properties and I actually have all the cameras here and there's the lens type the field of field angle vertical horizontal and so on and so forth I'm not gonna do that I'm gonna just take a look at what this normal camera looks like again I will have to go back and forth so this looks much better um, you can see the shadows here um, this is a January shadow so that's already a pretty low shadow I can s see what a, what a nine o'clock morning shadow is okay it's like that um, so that's that's a pretty good view we may want to go just a little bit further a little bit closer to the window so you can see a little bit more detail um, the way we do that is actually we just move the whole camera we select it and then move it maybe like that so that's that's fine so the the um, nine o'clock um, let's do winter solstice as we go through the day that's okay in the morning it's cut off from the field and then it kind of moves around like that okay so that's that's good that's good enough we may be able to go even a l even closer so let's just do that maybe I just want to have an ever so slightly more side view okay that's pretty good it's good for the for the shadow um, patterns that we want to we want to um, investigate okay so I placed my camera now I have to basically work on the graphics of this you know this doesn't look very good at the moment so I go into the um, visualization settings and I can um, you know I'm gonna make my background white first of all foreground can be white too I want the surfaces to be displayed in the background color that means the surfaces are white actually the foreground color has to be black um, so that the lines the, the display outlines are actually in the foreground color so that way we actually get our kind of sketch up look I don't want the you know I don't need, I don't need this uh, this arrow here um, which is the daily sun path I'm going to turn that off you know and this is without shadows with shadows um, don't forget to update the camera changes so that these things like turning off the sun path is actually being recorded you can see here the sun path is on and here the sun path is off but both have shadows going back to the visualization settings I'm going to take another look um, you know you can do the kind of sketch mode if you're so inclined the sketchy lines I don't think that's looking really good but as I said before that's a personal preference um, sometimes this is actually cool doing a cutaway section uh, I don't think in this case it's uh, really that uh, that great so I'm not gonna do it but sometimes this creates nice um, diagrams actually here under shading effects there's some, a couple of important things we want to project onto the windows which doesn't uh, show anything right now but we want to see for example if we have a light shelf on the outside we want to see the shadow that is cast not only onto the floor but also onto the window for example if I go to my um, layers my zones and I turn on the exterior light shelf okay and now there it is you can see the shadow on the floor but you cannot see it on the window right now so if we're going back into the um, visualization settings and we click the project onto windows you can see that so that's actually pretty nice because that gives us 
the amount of um, shading that, that this shading device is casting shadow onto the windows. Um, these are a couple of changes and I honestly don't really know exactly what they're doing. Um, windows cast shadows is, is important. Um, here you can change the you know the darkness of the shadows. So this is just a, a graphic. Um, this is the actually that you make the surfaces that are not in the sun darker. I think in this case this is maybe a little bit too extreme. I mean, but that's basically your personal preference. I mean, maybe this is good. Maybe this creates a good um, a good um, diagram that shows what's going on. We're mainly interested in the casting of the, the shadows, not on the actual coloring of the surfaces. But I. So this is really a personal preference. I like it like this better. Okay, so um, once you have this camera, you're going to create um, views for three times of the day, nine in the morning, noon, and 3 p.m for the winter solstice that's december 21st right we're having actually the noon right here then we're going to do it for the uh, summer solstice very steep sun angle almost no um, everything is almost completely shaded at least with the uh, exterior light shelf right now you can see that the whole bottom portion of the window is shaded and we're going to do it for the um, spring equinox is in between and we're going to cycle through our different design options all right so you have i have just the windows the windows with exterior light shelf and the third option is the windows with the interior light shelf so if i if i were to cycle through these real quick um option a no light shelves exterior light shelf and interior light shelf and you know there's a fourth option which is both light shelves which in this case completely shades the um the window and the floor the at the moment there's no shadow coming in and uh, no direct sunlight coming in at all okay so just like uh, last time uh, when we have a a view that we like we are going to click this camera a symbol here on the on the bottom right we're going to go copy as bitmap we're going to start up our photoshop and we're going to drop it in there and then we can you know we can layer we can layer the the different images on top of each other and use them in our presentation so you have three design options for each three for each of these three options you have uh, three different times of the day and three different times of the year so that's a lot of different images you can do the math okay control new control n in photoshop creates the um, the background control V puts the file there okay so if I go back and I go for example to the um, winter solstice I go to copy as bitmap like we did before going back to Photoshop put it in here you may want to name this you know this is winter noon noon um, and so you you can get it organized and for example I'm going to turn out the interior light shelf do another copy as bitmap go to my Photoshop control V so now this is winter noon interior shelf so now I basically have this Photoshop file with the different layers, which then I can use in my presentation.